I've been living like a rock star, baby, yeah I've been living like a rock star, baby, yeah I just hope I got some life left, baby, yeah I just hope you got some wine left, baby, yeah Hello and welcome back to the Metaverse Well ladies and gentlemen, it's that time of the year again for Honor's newest season has arrived and with it a few patch changes and cosmetics that only 5 of us will ever wear. The battle pass might be the worst one we've ever received, everything in there is genuinely asshole. however Ubisoft has done one of the greatest things they've done in a long time, they finally let me kiss the homies. Now I can finally kiss all my homies goodnight. Thank you Ubisoft, you're a great company, or you would be, but I can't kiss my homies on the lips. What kind of baby shit is this? First the Valkyrie execution change and now this. I'm tired of this censorship. Hashtag let me kiss my homies goodnight. Anyway, balance patch wise Shigoki finally got nerfed. Now he's gone from he who remains to Kang the Conqueror. Raider and Orochi got love taps. Orochi can no longer break dance anymore. And Raider stopped taking steroids before going to the gym. For both of them these patches did more or less nothing. If you couldn't fight Orochi before you likely still won't be able to, then there's Raider once again. While nice changes, they weren't what he needed, he just needs to do one extra mix up before you die now. So scary am I right? Dude's stamina was more so the problem than anything. This man can run a goddamn decathlon, climb a mountain, and swim the entire Pacific Ocean before running out of stamina. I think that was his real problem. His damage was a welcome change at least, no one should be doing 38 for that low of stamina. I almost forgot, there's gonna be a new character, and I swear to god, he looks like the dude from Assassin's Creed Rogue. Someone tell me I'm tripping or something, if it is Shay Cormac. I hope dude has the grenade launcher as a base weapon so he can blow people to smithereens. And now for the reason you clicked on this video, my face reveal. No you clicked on it for big weeb, like most reworks and new characters, they've gone with more or less the same mix up, the good old undodgeable or bash mix up, at least in shinobi's case it's at least pleasing to look at, the dude is flipping around more than a fish on land, we don't have the luxury of or a cheese kick where there are character specific punishes, everyone just has to do the same thing to punish him which is fine I guess, I just like having character specific punishes. It means you have to learn a bit more about every character in order to know what would be able to punish something, in my opinion. It means you have to know more about your character than the surface level shit. Everyone knew a delayed dodge attack beat or a cheese kick, but how many of you guys actually did it? Shinobi to me is fine, nothing stands out like a sore thumb to me, only thing that's funny to do is the kick into backflip, that shit has the most iframes I've ever seen. Like are you seeing this, this shit is beautiful right here, it's majestic, the fact he can do that shit damn near infinitely with almost zero stamina cost is wild, for all I don't find him to be anything out of the ordinary though it may just be because we had two demons a season prior, so I guess I've become a bit numb to UB balancing people by making them move like crackheads. It's too early for a legitimate tier placement, but if I had to guess he'll be somewhere in middle A tier. I don't see him being a must pick, but I also don't see him needing a buff anytime soon. That leaves Nuksha as likely the worst assassin. So you know what that means Yubi, it's time to ignore or bring her once again and give my trap queen the love she deserves. Also rework Shaolin and Highlander, befall or bring her and Jorm. K thanks love you kiss kiss. This concludes today's video. Thank you for watching please make sure to like and subscribe, it really helps my channel grow a ton. We're on the road to 10k, comment below what you guys thoughts on shinobi and the season as a whole are. I read every single I get, and until next time.